Right, hi guys, uh, I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to observing the sky because that's kind of our next unit is understanding planetary motion, understanding how objects move in our sky and being able to locate and observe and watch the uh, apparent motion of objects in our sky. So we're going to talk about this thing called the celestial sphere today. So if you can imagine uh, you're standing on the ground uh, in, let's say, an open field, and you have the horizon in front of you, and there's really nothing in your way. You can see as far away as possible, and there's nothing blocking your path. No trees, no buildings, nothing. You just see the horizon. And you can look up, and you can see the, the night sky and all the stars around you, and you can see the Milky Way galaxy. It would be beautiful, right? That would be a really, really awesome sight. If you wanted to point out something to someone in the night sky and you had somebody next to you, you kind of try to like locate it with your finger and point at it. And it might be a little bit challenging for you to distinguish one star from another star because a lot of them are pretty close to each other. And so we need this way of kind of um, mapping out the night sky. And so we come up with this idea called the celestial sphere. So I just want to show you the celestial sphere the celestial sphere is this imaginary ball that's around planet Earth with Earth in the center and everything uh, apparently moving. It looks like it's all moving around us. But what we know is it's actually the Earth rotating and spinning on its axis. OK, so we have this ball around the observer. We call that the celestial sphere. Now, just a, a few words to take note of. Number one, the zenith. The zenith is the point directly above your head. So if you were to essentially uh, measure an angle to the zenith from the horizon, it would always be exactly 90 degrees above your head. So zenith is directly above you. The horizon would be zero degrees as far as how high it is above the ground, right? So we have some numbers that we're working with now. And what these numbers that I just talked about are what we call altitude. And so if we come back to my, my white, whiteboard over here, okay, so we have the ground, okay, and we have the observer. There you are. And if you were to measure an object in the sky that's above you, we'd essentially measure it from the ground up. And so this angle measurement, this is our celestial sphere around this person. We're measuring an angle upward, remember, straight up, Zenith is an angle of 90 degrees. If I were to draw a line straight down, that's a 90 degree angle. Okay, so we're measuring angles upward. And we call that angular measurement upward the altitude of something. So if we had a star that's, say, over here on our celestial sphere, we measure it from the ground up to that star. And this angle, essentially, this angle right here is the altitude of that star. Okay. So altitude is a measurement above the horizon. And so it says here, altitude is the angle above the horizon. And you can see that in the diagram here. So if we wanted to pinpoint the location of something in the celestial sphere, we'd give it an altitude. Okay, And that would be a degree measurement from 0 to our maximum number of 90. So that's the first coordinate system that we have is an angular measurement up. OK, now the other thing that we have to do is we have to say, OK, well, which way are we actually looking? Which direction is the object in the night sky? Is it north or south or east or west? And which way am I pointing my body to look at the star or whatever we're observing in the night sky? And so we need uh, something else. We need another coordinate. And that coordinate is called the azimuth. The azimuth is a clockwise angle from due north to a place on the horizon directly below the point in the sky. And that sounds like a lot and it sounds kind of complicated, um, but let me describe it uh, this way on the whiteboard. Okay, so imagine if you could be uh, directly above, let's say uh, above the ground, or let's say you're a bird's eye view, right? And we're looking down on the ground like this. The horizon is the circle around you. Let's say that up at the top of the circle is north, at the bottom of the circle over here is south, okay? And we have 
east over here and west over here. Okay, so we're looking down at the ground. Now, if you were to think about this, uh, and we start at north, north represents zero degrees for asthma, so zero degrees up there. And we work our way around counter or sorry, clockwise around the circle this way. And so if we were to consider, here's my line to the center and go all the way to east, that would be a 90 degree angle, right? This is 90 degrees. And so east is 90 degrees for its azimuth, all right? And if we were to do all the way down to south, down here, that would be the full entire line this way, and that would be 180 degrees. So south is 180, okay? And if we keep going around the circle clockwise and go all the way to west, west is over here, and so that would be an angle altogether, just keep going around the circle, of 270 degrees. So west is 270, okay? So we can point ourselves in the correct direction just by using this uh, kind of clockwise rotation and just realize that we can do all the measurements in between too. So if I wanted to have an azimuth of somewhere in the northwestern sky, like somewhere over here, we're, we're looking northwest, I would have a number between 270 and 360 back to zero again, right? So we could say maybe around here somewhere would be an angle of, let's say, uh, we're all pointing ourselves in, the, in an azimuth of 290 degrees somewhere over there, okay? So we, we can now figure out which way we're looking with the azimuth, all right? So that's kind of an important thing to note the celestial sphere is a way to kind of think about observing the night sky and how things move in the night sky, but we can detect objects, we can locate objects in the sky using these two coordinates, azimuth and altitude. Okay, so that's it for now, and we'll talk more about this as we go on next week. All right.